Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. It's our, it's our, I call it the bonus sixth episode of the little podcast that could, except you can see our mouths move. My name's Chris. It's, it's Harris after dark or whatever it's called. I'm with Jim McCormick. Hi, Jim McCormick. How are you? Hi. Yeah. I call it BP six to the cool kids bonus episode six, actually B E six bet. Um, that's, I don't say that. So this is, this is showing people how the marketing sausage gets made right here. It is. We're showing them. It's, yeah. It's We're showing them right this. now. Uh, all right, so uh, we are here, and we're going to talk through the slate of games in week five. We're here thanks to DraftKings, and we'll talk a little bit more about DraftKings in a little bit, but without DraftKings, there's no show. To be honest, there's probably no podcast, uh, because they do sponsor a lot, and I'm very appreciative of them. And if you uh, if you hear us talk about these games, and you live in one of the states where you're allowed to play, we would love it if you get a DraftKings account. More on that in a little bit. Looking backward... Um, the good thing is that I'm not going to look backward. The bad reason is because I have vertigo and I'll throw up on camera. Um, mm. Our picks last week were garbage. Garbage, I say. Mm. Yeah, that was a, like that was actually the name of an Oasis album. Uh, the garbage. vertigo I throw up when I turn around, but also, oh. but also, yeah, don't look back in anger at your picks because I just I pretend it never happened. That's my thing. Yeah. So, so you went six and ten. I went mm. five and eight. Uh, the sun was in my eyes. So I'm I'm, I'm yeah. not sure about you. It was windy here. It was windy. Yeah, was... a little windy. Wind altered picks. Um, mm-hmm. We we should say like we're recording these things, you know, you know, way before the the lineups get set, and we thought that the Browns were going to have a starting quarterback. So that was one that I think we would like to have back if we could. Um, and then also uh, Dave was whispering at us the whole time, and I was distracted. And I'm by you. Yeah, I mean, look, he's he, he's got this nice little like it's like a kitty whisper. It's like a little kitten. It's like boop, 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 boop. it's like I, I actually like I it's like I'm gonna get a, uh, wait. How do kittens? How do kittens sound? Well, that's that's what my kitten does. I don't have a kitten, but like in my head, my kitten goes boop, 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 boop. and you and boop, I'm gonna boop, get a, I'm gonna what like that. That is truly an interesting kitten. We should we gotta get that kitten on Letterman. Is there a I'm Letterman gonna, anymore? We gotta get Dave a, a laser pointer so we so he starts stop so he just starts looking all around the wall. So okay, that's right. That's right. We do need that. I have I have good bad news for the for the viewers though. None of you got one right either. <laughs> mm. Makes me feel better, honestly. So, don't yeah. get don't get sassy with us. Uh, you're here you're here for great knowledge, not actual picks that are good. No, you're here for both. You're here for hilar- hilarity, humor, and analysis of football. We'll talk about. It. I mean, you know, it's it's a hard it's a hard gig. Uh, I'm well below 500. I feel like this is the week I completely c- keep going terribly, but um, mm. maybe that's wrong. Uh, we're gonna start with a Thursday night game. We've got the Bears looking resurgent on offense last week, although they do wind up blowing the game eventually. And they're visiting the Commanders, who gave your Eagles a scare, and we both Mm. were on on the Eagles, and we were wrong. Uh, The Commanders at home are giving six points. What do you think? How's this one going to go? Yeah, I had this in the Vegas zone. Not even sure what that means. It's just when I don't know about a number. I just say Vegas zone. So I had it minus five. Just what I mean... In that weird between four and six zone, you know, four and five and a half zone. Uh, I just thought this was strange. They're going to take Chicago. Um, they Look, they're terrible, right? <laughs> but I, can you have it like, can you uh, accentuate or modify Thursday? Is this the Thursday ist game ever? This matchup? It's extra Thursday. It's not because I've seen so many bad like, Thursdays, but right, um, yeah. it's not a good one. It's not yeah. what you want. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I think I haven't watched. Have I? I'm trying to think of whether I've watched a Commanders game live. I yeah, do. Yeah. No, I I watched the uh, Commanders Broncos game live, which was a hell of a game to watch. It was. Um, yeah. That, so like, I'm kind of looking for. You know, the whole the whole um, Eric Bieniemy thing is interesting. It uh-huh. is a different kind of attack. You saw how the Commanders attacked the Eagles last week, and it like. Yep. It was a very Sam Howell centric game plan. Like even when they weren't losing big, Eric Bieniemy looked at three weeks of terrible Sam Howell tape and said, "Give me more of that." You know, yeah, like yeah. He, he and it worked. Sam Howell played terrific in that game. He, I thought really actually, to, Jalen Hurts played pretty well too. Uh, it was yeah. probably the best showing of the Eagle passing offense, especially in the second half as well. But like they needed it because Sam Howell played really, really well. I think that's why this line is what it is. People okay, are yeah. looking back on everyone's TV flashed to the overtime because their game was over. Right. Right. And they got to see the commanders get the ball first and Terry McLaurin's toe, I guess be out of bounds. And then, um, 
just get the impression that maybe Sam Howell was turning a corner. That's probably what this line is, what it is. But you know what? I think I'm on the other side here. I'm going to lay the points. I, I said it at seven. Okay. You said it at five. So that means we have to be on different different sides. No, I was impressed by how he picked his spots. I thought what was most impressive is they like just got the ball out fast, whereas it wasn't it wasn't just him constantly doing like the the double blind turnaround, you know. So run around, run around, run around. Yeah, Absolutely so, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah abs- I completely agree. Um, and that's the enemy, right? That's Mahomes. That's the that's the way. That's the, hopefully he's tutoring him in the way. And I'll tell you, I mean, I spread a lot of um, manure Howell's way for three weeks. And right. if he, if he, that was a great performance in week four. But like, if he can't take care of this Bears defense, mm. I'm right back to manure city. All right, we're gonna go to another neutral site game. Uh, I'm on the west coast of the United States, and that means this game starts at two in the morning. I think it might as well mm-hmm. be. I think it's actually six thirty. The Jags stay in London. Huge gambling narrative huge handicapping narrative that's it it's a they didn't lose their body clock or something uh but they're unfortunately facing the buffalo bills who are very good and the bills are a five and a half point favorite little known fact western new york is actually five hours ahead of everybody else anyway what so yeah so the bills are, it's like this little pocket it's called it's called the the um the four super bowl zone okay Ooh. and so no, I'm just kidding, really it's the josh allen zone so everything just seems like it's in the future but it's probably in the past um so I don't know what that means either, but I had this at six minus six Buffalo. I'm just going to go okay. with that. Um, it was obviously influenced. I was, there was even, I had a question mark seven to myself on my sheet. Cause I was like kind of unsure thinking of the public and that, that inc- incredible performance last week against the, you know, the, 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 the prom, the prom King team coming in and they got smacked around and yes, it was home and all these things. And, but Hey, they, they really, it was the defense that was most impressive. Even without Poyer, they do have safety depth. They got that guy Rapp, uh, Taylor Rapp, from, from, who had some good years with the Rams. And Mc, McDermott is just – when McDermott is at his best, he's, it's a really good-looking defense, even though I don't love the personnel. So I just think this Jacksonville funk is pretty real so far. And, like, some of that early shine with Ridley even has come off. So I just think this is a good bet, too. Like, I, 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 I might actually play this line as well. So even though I have – Clip it. Dave Clippett, we just Clip had a Jaguars game where Jim neither said wires Jack- nor Doug Peterson. Jack- can you clip it? Can you, can we clip it? It's a, it's a hist- history making show. Yeah, history making yeah, show. Yeah, it's historic. It's historic, man. <laughs> uh, I'm on I'm on Buffalo as well. Uh, I think maybe we're gonna hear about this game later too. Mm. For me, I mm-hmm. feel a lot of the same thing. I talked about the uh, if people listen to what Wednesday morning's podcast, you'll hear me weigh in on how Buffalo stopped Miami. I went back and watched every throw and or every offensive play for Miami, and I think um, they did it with a very vanilla defense. Right. They did it with. Cover two, cover six. That's basically what they played. Um, and and you know, you're supposed to be able to run on that. And Miami kind of couldn't run on that. And they quit yeah. the run awfully early. But like, I almost think that's a, a better reinforcement football-wise of your point, which right. is to say, wow, I mean, you maybe don't love the right. defensive – you don't, don't love the defensive personnel, and yet they kind of just lined up and – played zone and you know like said beat us you know yeah. and so that meant the meant the meant the personnel actually kind of rose to the occasion it wasn't something funky it wasn't a hundred blitzes it was in fact they blitzed a couple times on the first drive and Tua is can I just mention Tua against the blitz is Oof. freaking fantastic yeah 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 he's fantastic yeah yeah, yeah. he's he's the new Brady as right. far as I'm concerned it's you should out. never blitz Tua he knows exactly where to go he gets it out in a, in a half a second he's fa- anyway we're not doing a Dolphins game right now sure uh and I think your point about the wires is also uh, very apt, which is that they're a, they're they're in a funk, weird turnovers, uh, like bad penalties. Just generally, like, yeah, yeah, not not the team that um, I would want to be facing the Bills right now. So I am also on Buffalo. I think it's interesting because I think a lot of people will go uh, London. They stayed there. I'm gonna take the Jags, and it could work out that way. You right. know, I, I I've been wrong a lot this year. I, I, I don't want to make fun of arguments when, when I've been bad, but I really like Buffalo in this game. Um, we're going to get to the Sunday main slate in a moment. Let's thank DraftKings for sponsoring the show. If you're looking for a place to play the games, we hope you'll consider DraftKings. If you sign up, download the app, use the code HarrisTube. That for new users who use the code HarrisTube, make one $5 bet, immediately get $200 in free bets into your account, bonus bets as they call 
call them. And uh, and then you get to play around, spread it around, have a fun weekend, like betting $5 on all the games or something. Of course, I don't want you to bet very much. Please stay within your means. Please don't go crazy. Frankly, probably you shouldn't play every game because the mm. NFL doesn't give you a lot. But the fun thing is that even if you're an existing customer, all through the month of October, October, as was the case in September, every game day, so that's Thursday, Sunday, and Monday, you're going to get a cool, fun prop, something that's basically free money, things that are mm-hmm. just, just just log into DraftKings every game day, you're just going to find fun things. I'm not, because I live in California, mm-hmm. because I we, don't for, have, for, for we don't Thursday, have that. So, yeah. so. Beautiful. Uh, so again, if you sign up, please do use the code Harris tube. We really do thank DraftKings because without them, we wouldn't be making the show and, uh, thank you to them. Let's continue. The main slate begins with the stupidest team in the NFL. That would be your new England Patriots. I mean, my new England Patriots, they're hosting the New Orleans saints and somehow they are a one point favorite. I was just watching around the NFL and, uh, Chris Long's on that. And he mentioned that like, the question was like, when does the season really start? Like, what is the actual, well, first of all, it started in September, but the, que- <laughs> the, the, the the question being like, what is like the real like I guess like testing point when, when the proving point where like your team should be in a certain spot for it to be real? And Long said they you know, the Belichick told him the season doesn't really start till November, and I think they're really taking that seriously in New England. I think they're <laughs> going to start in November. I think what he really meant was like you know, that's when the serious teams start turning it up. In this situation, it's this was a very difficult game for me to read. It is a disciple game. Which usually Bill has been great in disciple games, you know, like him playing his 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 uh, his his, pro- his proteges. But in this case, it's not a protege game. Wait, what? It's, no, it's not even a little bit. I'm like thinking, but where, does Dennis Allen like date his daughter? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I had this. I I was looking at the sheet, and Tennessee's the next game, so I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, don't Dave, don't cut that. That's rewinding. <laughs> you've, you've Dave, don't cut that. You learned about kittens and rewinding. I mean, I'm like the guy from Police Academy. <laughs> Okay. Beep, beep, boop, beep, yeah. boop, boop. Oh, nice kitty. Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> robot oh. cat. Okay, so <laughs> the New Orleans Robot Cats, um, I think that they're the better team right now. I think they know who they are. They keep things. Me too. Cool. And I actually think, like, some players, in fantasy even, if not to, like, dip into that, but, like, Olave would be somebody I'd be chasing right now. He's still playing well. It's just that the, the touchdowns haven't showed up. Like, he's, like, right there with me on Jamar Chase. Like, go get these guys while, they're, while their owners are one and three. Uh, but yeah. either way, I think... Carr keeps it simple. Like they're not letting him do the crazy car stuff that like Gruden empowered. He's kind of just keeping it simple. He's almost like just a more expensive Dalton from last year. What what Dalton was doing for them. So I don't think this defense mm-hmm. is pretty good. I really do. This Marcus Lattimore is playing the best football of his career. So, all right, is he a disciple of anybody? He is. He's a disciple of the of the of the Fort Lauderdale. Uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call that? Roller skating gang. So yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that's a fact that I did not know. Can we put that on his Wikipedia page? Somebody please. Yeah, put but that up on. It's, it's more like a fun thing. It's not like a gang. They just have streamers and, and, and roller skates. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're not hurting anybody. Oh yeah. yeah. I, of course I would never think that. It's in his contract. Anybody. That's how powerful he is. Yeah. He got that put in his contract. Right. So. Well, he used to, I don't know if you guys, you guys know this, but his rookie year, he wore tassels on his helmet. Uh, that's, I mean, and, and he got fined. Yeah. He paid the fines. So yeah, yeah he paid the fine. He, man, man knows what he's doing. Um, here's how the Patriots are terrible. Uh, the he's offensive gone. line is <laughs> is just about the worst in the league. Mm. It's a total disaster. They can't. I mean, Mac Jones stinks. Believe me, Mac Jones stinks. But he's like got a forty three percent pressure rate. Mm. That's <laughs> like, crazy. That's I mean, crazy. he's he's Mac Jones and he's getting pressured half the time. Like, right. guess what's gonna happen? Um, they can't run because every defense starts thinking about guarding a receiver more than five yards down the field and laughs. Uh, and then defensively, they just lost every corner they have. They just traded right. for J.C. Jackson, who PFF has ranked as the worst corner in the league. Like, uh, who they let go? Scratch, healthy scratches right. for the yeah. For... I mean, some of that might be some legal issues with J.C. Sure. Jackson, but gotcha, still, gotcha. okay. Uh, he, I mean, uh, he still has them. So are the Patriots going to ignore them? I don't know. Um, right. Christian Gonzalez is gone. Matt Judon is gone. Two best players on the team, let yeah. alone the defense. This line is wrong. Yeah, this yeah, line yeah. is wrong. The, Sa- the Saints should be favored. Yeah, I did, uh, I had it. I'm sorry. I'd say what I had it at. I had it at minus two New Orleans. So, yeah. So. I had it at minus three. Okay. Yeah. So uh, a couple games that I feel uh, some decent conviction on. You know, a uh, little, little side note here. You know, when people f- feel, f- say that they want to say that they feel uh, conviction about something, but they say, I'm really convicted. Mm. Yeah. No, you don't like that. No. 
That's no. not right. That's not English. No. Stop. Yeah, Stop yeah. saying that. You're not yeah. convicted about a thing. No, that means you're in jail. No, no. That means you let me, you, no we're not yeah. doing that. Uh, all That's right. only Moving for former on. presidents. Do you know what I mean? So. You know, I, I'm what I hear here is that this next game yeah. is a protege game. So I'm oh. very much looking forward to hearing about the Titans visiting the Colts. Okay, so to go on the same thread, I meant prototype. Okay. Um, oh, prototype. So, so I, wow, I'm you had the wrong word, too. I'm were, you I'm convicted. Con were you I'm convicted convic that you were using the right I word? I am. I am. I'm convicted. I am. I am. I'm having, I'm, I'm, I'm chopping at the bit. Um, so, yes, uh, I am going to go with the Colts here. I had the Colts giving one and a half points. Really weird okay. little home line. I just think it's this, one of these gross little division games. So, I'm not so off yep. of the actual line, like you said, which is Titans giving one. I just think they do have an identity. First of all, all this great karma with Jonathan Taylor coming back and being weird and <laughs> who's sitting with him at the cafeteria. That's the kind of stuff I need, I need Schefter to drop. Like, whoever drops that info gets my vote. You know, it's like in the battle of, like, nobody sat with him. Did the coach sit with him? What did he have for lunch? Um, did Was Ursay there? Was Ursay in the bathroom for two hours? Either way, I just think that they have an identity. I think Steichen really has this team going in a good direction. And there's only so many wild cats to Derrick Henry that you can run. So, yeah. <laughs> Although you would not have said that about the Colts in the first half of the Rams game. No, no, was they were disaster. Really, really bad. Yeah, but, I, but right, that but was also weird they... mistakes. Yeah, so they do play the second half. That that counts. Um, this is a push for me. This is the only okay. one I'm not playing. I guessed the line exactly right. I said Tennessee minus one. So gotcha. I'm going to move along on on uh, on let somebody else pick this one. But uh, we should probably you know we spent. I had Cincinnati over Tennessee on the road as a favorite, as my yeah. best bet last week. Like we should not just dismiss the Titans effort as a function. Sure. American. It's true. You know, like they, they did unload the offensive playbook in that game. They yeah, yeah. came right out first series back pat, like handed it to Henry back pass to Tannehill. Crazy shot play actions. Hopkins. Yeah. Long developing uh, play actions. A, yeah. Like, bunch of play action. Um, like, that stuff isn't going to work every week, you know, and and so you are at some point just going to have to square up and line up and get get after it. Uh, the, you know what these teams, you know, this is yeah. this is the eight and eight, eight and eight bowl. Even though exactly. there's seventeen games now, right, this right, is the right. eight and eight bowl. These teams aren't good, but they're not terrible. Uh, and it's nice that the Colts aren't terrible. I think it's good. Like Richardson comes right in and not only provides hope, but like, you know, okay. Like the throwing is a mess, but like it is. he's okay. I, he's just. Boy, I want to talk about something I might trade in fantasy. Like he's gonna yeah. get hurt. Yeah, he yeah, takes yeah, yeah. so many shots. But uh, but ones, anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll say I'll say it's a it's a, the line's about right on that one. All right, Ravens who uh, are on the road. They are facing the Pittsburgh Steelers. As of our recording this, we don't know who the quarterback for the Steelers is, and I'm not sure it matters. Uh, on the road, the Ravens. It's a game they rarely win. Let's face it. Right. In, in Pittsburgh, but they are favored by four. I know, and I I considered the division thing, and then I said, no, wait, let's just go with your eyeballs, and I had this minus six, and so I yeah, just... I had it seven. And so I just, yeah, I mean, I just only kept it six, because I think, it was also, I'm, I'm, I'm not just guessing exactly what I was said of that, in this case, I was also just thinking, the the road, you know, the the if there's any life left in Pittsburgh, this would be like, it's a narrative, it's narrative BS, don't get me wrong, but this idea that like they just got embarrassed in Houston on J.J. Watt night of all days, you know, like... TJ had to sit there and watch his brother get crowned and then get embarrassed. I mean, this is a, like a, a teen romance novel, and I still don't believe that Kenny Pickett's going to find anybody to fall in love with, even if he doesn't play. <laughs> even though you know how the book ends. You're like, nope, it's not possible. He's just not lovable. Spoiler alert, he's not very good. <laughs> and he, yeah, you're right. He might not play. It might be Mitch Trubisky. I'm also on the Ravens here, and... It's it's been a fool's errand to take the roadside in these games so often, you know, it's just it's always close. It's always, you know, like really to take the favorite side in these games. It feels right. like it's it's a fool. I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah, the NFL doesn't make sense and we'll be here apologizing next week going, "Boy, the Steelers won by 30." But like I But they're defense based on too what I Yeah. So yeah, sorry. Based on what I've seen, like the Houston tackles last week it was one guy who had quite literally never taken an NFL snap. Quite right. literally, was that was that left tackle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right tackle was George Fant. Mm. That's Noah Fant's dad, by the way. It is actually. It's, it's Noah Fant's dad. He had him young. 
to be yeah. fair. Yeah. Uh, Pro- no, a protege. George Fant, a protege. George, uh, George, George Fant has been on a lot of teams and has never been anybody's idea of a good player. And he was matched up against TJ Watt and he held him off pretty good. Like, wow, what a lemon. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to be on the Ravens here. And I, I don't like, I always think Mike Tomlin's going to, going to make it like a five win team into an eight win team just through sheer force of scowling. But I, I, yeah, get I don't them all know how black Air Force ones or something. That's what he did last year. I, some sneakers. So. I don't see a way he does this year. I think this team stinks. Do you remember? I, I have a friend. I, he's a pretty famous guy mm-hmm. in, in the music world. I'm not going to light him up here, but yeah. he's everybody knows who he is. And I, it's not Rhett Miller. It's someone yeah, yeah. else. And he, he, and he texted me. He's a big, big Steeler fan. He yeah, texted yeah. me the preseason. Uh, that one game that I wasn't watching in the preseason where the yeah. Steelers apparently on yeah. in a national TV preseason game went crazy and like George Pickens made eight plays and Kenny yes. Pickett was going crazy. Eight for eight for a thousand yards. And he was like, get ready for this every single week, Harris. <laughs> I mean, Najee Harris looked like he wasn't <laughs> stuck in a block of granite. At that time, he did. So, he looked okay. Yeah, yeah. He looked okay. Last now, time. now he's back to being. Uh, he's he's Han Solo again, but <laughs> he, he is. He is. It makes him sound a lot cooler than he is, to be honest. Well, that's to I me. Mean, that's what I have to make the people who drafted him feel better. So. Okay. All right. Uh, cool and spice association. Uh, speaking of which, let's talk with Jim McCormick. Who's on my show. Uh, Carolina is visiting the Detroit lions who are apparently very good. Mm. And, uh, you got the Thursday night game, right? I think, right. You picked them over the Packers and Lambeau and I did not and felt really dumb about five minutes into that game. Cause, cause the reason sometimes you feel dumb is cause you are dumb. Mm. And I was, uh, the lions are nine and a half point favorites over the Panthers. Self-awareness. I mean, it's a, it, it is a skill, right? I mean, you have to work on that. I'm working on it. I think that the Lions just have a way better shade of blue. They, first of all, they were way earlier in picking it out, right? These guys were way later. The teal guys or whatever they're going that. I don't know what the color they're going for down there is in Carolina. I do know that I had this line at minus seven and a half, and it's minus nine and a half in here. So, oh boy, you're on I'm Carolina. taking Carolina. I'm taking this. Is, it's a lot of points. I still think Detroit has defensive problems. I don't know how the Panthers are going to score, but yeah. Can I just interrupt you and say I think I heard Dave Piper groan when you made that yeah. pick. I yeah. think I heard him go, "Oh yeah. no!" Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not yeah. kidding. I think he did. <laughs> it's because he knows to tail me any time it involves a 160 pound quarterback. It's just like that's my that's when I'm at my hottest. So <laughs> yeah, Bryce Young has been really bad. I'm I'm gonna give the points. I I'm on the lines here. What? I said it at ten. Okay, so yeah. like it's nine and a half, and I said it at ten. So it's not like hey, if this was seventeen, it's not like I wouldn't be like name your number. I don't care. I'm yeah, picking yeah, yeah, the lines. Yeah. Like I'm not he, doing he's that. He's it the other way. Yeah. Like. Right. Um. But like I have to admit, when I saw that it was nine and a half, I was like. Phew, I get to be on the right side. Here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You didn't want to <laughs> ride with me and Andy Dalton getting all those the screen all those like when they cut to the camera of him just looking like a pirate king. You know, it's gonna be good. <laughs> I I um I'm you know, I believe in the Lions. I also believe that the Lions are not um, you know, bulletproof and right. absolutely have, have it in them to just lose a couple of stupid random games. But teams, I mean, the Eagles did that last year. Like teams do that. Right. So it's not, if they lose this game outright, you're not like they're frauds. You just go, yeah, good teams who aren't great sometimes lose focus. And, and they've never been the hunted before. Right. Right. Every team that's now, especially going to Detroit is going to be in the mode of, you know, there is a little extra uh, zing that you get from being told that you have no chance. You know, yeah. So like, they're gonna get people's they're gonna get people's attention in ways that maybe they didn't fully get in the past. So there's a world where you're right, and there's a world where Carolina wins this game outright. But I just I go, I looked how Minnesota looked running against running the ball against Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Where Minnesota hadn't been able to block anybody, and suddenly right. both Alexander Madison and Cam Akers are like getting loose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, like this? this is I'm not getting touched, you know. Yeah. And then and they I really think, run like Detroit- that slowly. That's the crazy part. <laughs> <laughs> they, do, especially Madison, he really does. <laughs> yeah. um, and then, but uh, but then I'm thinking of Detroit running the ball. I just don't think they have an answer for it. Right. So, wait, wait. One question is: Do you think the receiver? Like I did include. I know we are obviously ahead of the the clock here in terms, but like. Yes. Maybe it's but the receiver thing, you know, like I'm on St. Brown is a little dinged up. Jameson Williams is coming in, throwing out parlays. It's just like I, I'm wondering if <laughs> their offense is gonna have a little bit of not, I mean they're in they're in, in theory they're infusing, they're adding like this right. this top fifth twelve pick or whatever. But my question would just be I don't know, maybe I'm like reading too much into the early week stuff that, that these guys are gonna right. be fine. 
I mean, my theory would be they're going to come out and run, and then they're going to run, and then they're going to run some uh, more, yeah. and then they're right. going to then they're going to play action. And lean but on But you right. could be right. You yeah. could be right. Absolutely. By the way, shout out. I know Jameson Williams obviously has to be watching. So hey, Jameson. How are you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> so we'll move on. He tells us. <laughs> Do the Texans Falcons game. Uh, the Texans still uh, still get no respect. Uh, they're going to a pretty bad team, and mm. they're one point underdog. Atlanta's one point favorite. Yeah, uh, I didn't get this one, but uh, I had it exactly at the Harris thing, so I had it at minus two, and I still don't get it. I still don't get it. <laughs> oh, it's two. Sorry, I said not not one. Uh, it's two. Yeah, right? I have it at two. I had it at two. Um, I you still guessed feel, it too. I yeah. still don't feel comfortable with it. I guess like I guessed it because it's just the home thing and the rookie quarterback on the road, but I still don't like it. Uh, even though I'm on the number, I am gonna st- I'm gonna take Houston. I'm gonna take the points Houston. just because I don't have a, really a read. Like the one team is bad. The, the like I, the, the week of actually using your players, we're still waiting for that one. And th- I don't think this defense is that good. This Atlanta defense last year, I think they were gimmicky. They blitzed a lot, and then you know they they have one or two really good players, right? And then they've the been rest, good against the run. Like they've the really legitimately they stopped, I think yeah. they load up yeah. too. I think they like yeah. invest in that and, and at the expense sometimes of giving up chunk plays. Like, yeah. and so I don't know. Stroud has looked still pretty confident and I know it's not all pretty cause he's a rookie, but he's right. the best of this class so far. And I, I I'm, I'm also just taking, I think the, 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 the scheming from Ryan's is going to give them problems. Plus their quarterback situation is pretty ugly, even though he's going to throw a three. I love- I love how you're like, this line is exactly right, yeah. and it's really hard for me to pick, but here's 17 reasons why one side is good. Well, I'm actually, I'm, <laughs> if, if, I, if you gave me another minute, I was going to pick Atlanta, so I just want to be clear. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, too bad, I cut you off. Cut off his mic. Cut off his mm-hmm. mic. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also on Houston. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes you should just believe what your eyes tell you. Right. And I, I think Houston's not Terrible. An, a god awful team. They're, yeah, in I that, think, they're like, in that 500 club you mentioned with the other AFC yeah. weirdo, AFC South weirdos. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're okay. You know, um, I, I, I would say, you know, Atlanta has a path that they always have, which is like the run works. Just mm. they, just it works. They, you know, the Jab offensive you to line. Death. Yes. Yeah, the offensive line has maybe been a little oversold at this point. Like okay. it's the first thing every announcer talks about with them. But like, have they played great yet? Right. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it's a tough ask because teams are run blitzing on every first down. You know, like they're like, "Go ahead, Desmond. Let's see what you can do." Like it's the same theory as Mac Jones. Like, Smith, let's do this. Right, oh. Jonu Smith is a leading receiver. It's not the the functional passing game. Um, so I'm just gonna. I, I I can see where it goes. I had it. I had it at one. That's why right. I said the line was one. As of our recording this, it's two. I had it at Falcons one. So I also don't want to oversell how convicted I feel about this game. Uh, but. I will I will say that I'm I'm happy to be on this side of it because I feel like I get to trust my eyes. Ooh, so yeah. there you go. All right. Uh the the Dolphins coming off their uh eh, national TV shellacking, I think it's mm-hmm. fair to say. They lost by a lot. It was a good game for a while, and then thir- third quarter it really got out of hand. They return to face Jim, I should have started this game a different way because who have I been saying to the folks on this show is the worst team in the NFL since week one? The team that was favored heavily going into Arizona. You were cackling. <laughs> that is correct. The New York Giants, I mean, it changes from, from in, within a season who the, who the worst team is will legitimately change. Like often they'll figure some stuff out and they'll get some people healthy and I'm not dooming them forever. But through four weeks, I've watched all the games and the Giants have been the worst team that I've seen. They're going to the Dolphins, and the line definitely says this is a bad team because the Dolphins are favored by ten and a half. I already had a season-long prop that hit. It was um, who's the first coach to throw a Microsoft Surface at their quarterback, and it, I picked Abel. <laughs> so I mean that was pretty good return. That was plus nine fifty. Uh, it was actually, and I but I did I have another one where I parlayed it with the screen would crack, but he has a really good protector, so that didn't work out. But either way, Dang it. I had it at minus two touchdowns. Two, oh um, yeah. Well, and extra. I did twelve. I did minus yeah. thirteen. Yeah. I just think, look. First of all, sh- sh- a week of shame, and then going to Miami. Not the best blend of behaviors. You know what I mean? Like usually you're shamed after you leave Miami. Like so, <laughs> have like it's not great. You don't want to go to Vegas depressed. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Um. So yeah, I just think they're gonna. I think they are a different team at home. They have a little bit of this breeze, saintsy feel. I know it's not indoors, but their 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 home environment is really. I guess I'm not saying it's a faster field or anything, but they just seem like they get done what they want to get done at home. I mean, this is ridiculous. It might have it, it, it might have something to do with who they've played at home. That, that's true. That's true. But um, 
I'm going to choose to believe that it's some kind of voodoo, kind of coconut shrimp science. Okay. <laughs> Get make sure you get to his coconut shrimp this week, everybody. Please. Can you imagine him coconut to- shrimp, shrimp in Buffalo? I mean, come on, like that's, that's <laughs> no, that's that's, that's they did not ship it in, like in fresh compartment. Yeah. And what's what's crazy is that too has a well known shellfish allergy, so he's just like wheezing and coughing in the locker room. Like I'm doing. That's it, why his cheeks. I'm doing- right. He got those puffy chipmunk cheeks. That's why it's it's it's, it's he's, he's actually a very he's got nice cheekbones. You just don't see them because of the shrimp. It's ador- It's adorable. Yeah, it it's is, it's it a, is. an adorable allergic reaction, is what it is. Crustaceans. Uh, I like there's the NFL very often does the thing where the team looks absolutely hopeless and six days later got got a fire lit under them and suddenly looks right. good on defense, especially on defense, because that defensive effort against Seattle's offensive line that w- had no starter that like how how saved they, by a those are, that's Leonard Williams, dude. Yeah, that's like uh, uh, who's the uh, Clemson kid? Uh, the other defensive tackle? Oh, there's uh, Thibodeau. Oh, the guy they drafted. Yeah, the big crazy guy from last. He was so great last year. Oh, why am I messing yeah. this up? Yeah, yeah. So that's Dexter great. Lawrence. Dexter Lawrence. Uh, yeah. Uh, like they these are moved. real players. They are. Yeah. How how did that happen? Their most notable <laughs> their most notable event was they both got into a fight with two offensive linemen. That was like the most notable moment from last week. Right. That was as coherent as they were. Yeah. Uh, you know, that that kind of thing is so weird and we do think those guys are good players. Like yeah. you you are you have to like you have to write a lot about defenses in yeah. general. Like how do you explain this Giants defense? Well, one, I think Wink is just like he is some in somewhat a one trick pony. Like he's like a crazy high blitz rate guy. He's got a little bit in common with like the Vance Josephs of the world. Like who who is having a good better year with his personnel, right? He's working with this scrappy whatever uh, LA group. But long story short, uh, they're they're bad in the secondary, right? They made these investments in Xavier McKinney, and they've been turning over corners for years. They couldn't even afford well, they have two right? rookies. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Have two so rookies. I just think that's an issue. And teams, I just think. Like you said about Tua versus the Blitz, like I think this is a team that's become easier to scheme against because of how often they blitz. That like you're gonna know there's gonna be hot reads over and over and over. And they were hitting that last week with Lockett. I mean, they, they messed up a lot of that. Like Seattle, if they had more confidence, could have really rolled. You know what I mean? Like if they just had connected on some of those open plays. I'm not convinced that this team is any good. I'm I'm, I'm, not, I'm convinced they're very bad, but I'm also convinced that Miami's the one that's gonna bounce back. Like that that's the team yeah. that I think would bounce back from their bad performance. Because both of these teams are coming off of a smacking, just one of them's real. Yeah. Yeah, um, we're on the same side. I'm I mean, I didn't think the Giants were gonna be a bad team. I, mean, I thought they'd be fine this year and they're yeah, right. they're really bad. I mean, I'll say I have a pretty unblemished record of doubting Daniel Jones. Yeah. And that, yeah. that feels like that has always been pretty good business. But uh let's move on to the late games. We've got the Bengals with the uh Mac Jones starter kit. For mm. Joe Burrow, coming off a humiliating defeat, mm. really great first drive, field goal, never touched the, never scored again, never came close to the end zone. Like yeah. that performance is really bad. They go to my poster children, Arizona. Uh, I, you know, I I watched the here in the West Coast that 49er Cardinal game was on live, and midway through the fourth, that's a game. That's a five point game. Like mm-hmm. they they went toe to toe with the 49ers and then they ran out of gas at the very end, gave up two touchdowns at the end and I didn't cover and I'm incredibly bitter, but I also think that the score didn't indicate how the game went. I think you're getting an idea of where I'm going to go. It seems yeah. like I'm going to be on Arizona every single week this year. Uh, the Cardinals are a three point dog at home against the Bengals. I'm not taking my own, uh, my own counsel here in terms of like that. I still believe this team's in a funk. I said that about Jacksonville, the Jaguars. Um, but I don't know, man. I'm meaning like, you know, I, I, I'm not predicting Jacksonville to get it together this week. I, I just think like what it is too. I also heard that he got one of those calf stretchers. I heard uh, Joe Barry got one of those rocking calf stretchers, like a PT one. So he's been doing that all week. He, I think he, he obviously he doesn't even like he drinks like bottled prepared chocolate milks. You can tell because he has that innocent look, and he just I think somebody's got to get him off of the Nest Quick or whatever it is Nestle. What is that stuff called? Yoohoo. That's what he's on. He's just guzzling Yoohoo. And that's also, if you ever noticed before games, he's got some brown drips on his shirt. That's what that's from. <laughs> but the main thing is, is that I have this at minus three, and I'm just going to still ride with Cincinnati. I, ha- I picked this exactly. I've only picked two games exactly this week. I like, hit the lines, rather. And so uh, uh-huh. I'm just going to I'm just gonna think they wake up, and I think it's a kicking game either way. So I'll take the points and that worst push, I think. So, you know, if well, You're not won- taking the points. You're giving I'm giving the, the points. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm taking the spread. I'm, like, I'm just sticking with this line, and I think it could settle around a kicking game. It could. But, uh, 
It'll be a push is rather what I'm saying. Like, like I right. accept a push. So, yeah. There's still time to change your mind. Nope. I mean, this is the week <laughs> that Josh Dobbs officially becomes Josh Dobbs. So, and Charlie, I'm not Charlie even telling t- if anybody gets that one. I'm not. I- I didn't say that as though picking the Bengals is like dumb here and like there's still time for you to make the right decision. It was more like, yeah, we haven't had the typical McCormick like 360 oh, the, the triple reverse dunk, dunk yeah, the, where you where you go. Remember when I said all those things about Joe Burrow and you who? Ha ha! I'm picking Arizona. I write um, the, the Titans playbook too, so I'm busy. So you know. does does you who cause calf strains? Do have we secretly found the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The it's all the it's, it's all the lactose and um wow. yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't shake the bottle. He doesn't shake it. So like that's that's oh. bad for you. So this that's probably how he says shake it three happen. times on the bottle. By the way, and he's just right. like what? The, so the tr- <laughs> yeah. you want to tell us you? I mean, give him a break. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna be on Arizona for all the reasons I've said. Um, again, I'm gonna believe my eyes. Mm-hmm. Like, I, yeah. I'm, we're we've now seen four weeks of it. They're gutsy. And- yeah, yeah. They're they're gutsy. They're a, they're an eight and eight team. To, they're in that club eight and eight as well. And I'm gonna believe my eyes on the Bengals, which I, is. I think I watched too much of that Rams game where like Stafford had like point three seconds to throw, and I let that like bleed into like wait maybe the Bengals aren't terrible. But then everything else about that game they were terrible besides just that yeah. one element. So yeah. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I mean, if there comes a t- time, I mean, we're like, do we do, in fantasy do we say trade for Joe Burrow? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I do. I know. You know, I. I mean, I would, I there's a chase. I think is the only guy I would chase on that team. So yeah. Yeah, good name for him. Um, your Eagles are coming mm-hmm. here to mm-hmm. L.A. and they're yep. going to be some. They're going to be some Eagle fans here. I, I have some friends who are watching who live in Los Angeles who are on my softball team who live yeah. in Philly and they will probably be at the game and yeah. uh, and they will be loud. Uh, but the Rams have real fans too, uh, maybe kind of a little bit more than the Chargers. The at home, the Rams are four point underdogs to the Eagles. I mean, for one, like uh, Los Angeles based Googles of like how do you pronounce chorizo is going to go through the roof. Okay, yeah, <laughs> chorizo. All right, either way, uh, I just minus six birds. Um, like you said, I thought the passing game looked its best in a while. I do like. There is kind of an element, the secondary wise, to how the Rams are playing and how the Cardinals play. Like they just, their corners, they're not the biggest names, but they kind of just beat the crap out of you. You know, they're physical, they jam, they take the risk of, of doing that to allow the Donalds of the world to get to you. There's only like one Donald, but I'm saying to allow the pass rush to get home. I don't think that's going to be the case here. It's such a concentrated offense. I think one of the lessons that Brian Johnson's learning, the new offense coordinator, is to like maybe just keep throwing it to A.J. Brown and Devonta Smith and stop trying to get so creative and cute. They stopped throwing to the backs last week. You know, other than the third and 11 goal line run to Kenny Gainwell, which I'd rather have just thrown it to Kenny G, like the musician, than, than, <laughs> than, than run it to Kenny G. But either way, I just think that they cover. I think there is some some coming home. I mean, I, I don't think that Cooper Cup plays either. But I don't even like. I'm, I really wouldn't let that influence my take on this too much either way. So, and I do think it actually helps that they added some safety depth uh, or, or s- slot depth with Bradley Roby. I know that sounds goofy, but they've been getting beat up in the slot, and he was pretty good for the Saints last year. I know he's a street free agent, but last year this team did well doing that same kind of thing, finding a, a fix. So I think that might help. I'm also on the Eagles. I'm glad you brought up the Kenny Gainwell play because it's two weeks in a row where. In kind of a, it's early in the game, but kind of like a big moment. It was third. They've gone. It was big. It was it was third quarter though, where like they had to respond to a punch. Like it was weird. Yeah, like yeah, like they 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 just went. You know what? A fourth and the week before it was a fourth and one. Yeah. And they were like, you know who we want to hitch our wagon to? Yeah. That guy. And everybody yeah. goes, wait, we can't see him. Oh wait, no, just oh, yeah. pan down. Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. that guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't understand the infatuation. Um, no. You know, it's interesting. Interesting that in the first half of the commander game. Um, it felt like an extension of all the problems we've been talking about for the previous three weeks. Right. And, and the run wasn't working. Like the difference between that was that great. Everybody's playing back. So you can just have Deandre Swift run crazy and he scored the early touchdown, but he he couldn't get loose. No, he was pretty well stymied because commanders have a really good defensive front. They do. It's just in the Rams do too. Yeah. Right. Um, so like, that's interesting. And maybe it will turn out that that second half was really just about AJ Brown making crazy plays in the open field. Sure. You know, just like yeah. double moves, like catch, catch a 15 yard ball, turn into an 80 yard play. Crazy, or whatever. Like vintage TO stuff. It was really crazy. Right. But I will also just say, yeah, I feel like let's, let's, let's stop doubting the Eagles. They're figuring figuring out ways to do it. And they'll, and like, I do think 
something to do with team maturity and the second time through, right. you know, lo- less loss of concentration, less loss, loss of focus. They've, they've made it through a couple of games that they could have lost. It's true. You know, they, they found Ron the way. Ron goes for a two-point conversion. They're not yeah, undefeated. I really know? thought like, he was I, – I, well, I knew he wasn't because he's not Riverboat Ron, actually. He's no, not ever been Riverboat Ron. People just like that. That Yeah, it was just – I would have gone for it. You're yeah, underdog absolutely. on the road, dude. Take what are you doing? There's no way yeah. you're going to like – anytime you're yeah. a six-point dog or a ten-point dog, like and, – and there's a reason you're a ten-point dog. Just do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, but we're on the same side. I'm also on the Eagles over the Rams. All right, the Jets, Zach Wilson – Goes on Monday, Sunday night and outplays Patrick Mahomes. Mm-hmm. And that is not a hot take. That is our eyeballs telling mm-hmm. us that somehow Zach Wilson came out and just was nails in the second half of that game. Uh, they're going to Denver. The Broncos are a two-point favorite despite being horrendous. I just, did a pick. I just did a pick. I mean, I just was like, all right. Just, I threw my hands up and was like, sure. But really, it comes down to the fact, like we talked about like the Chicago team and how bad they are, even though, I, you know, I believe I, I, I bet them. Um, but, 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 but I guess my point is, is like that, that Chicago team can like muck it up with you, but the fact that they also scored and they made like Justin Fields look half competent, not really, but my point is, no, he, he, he looked more than he looked yes. 1.5 competent until the very end. Exactly. It's until he yeah. it up. So I think the thing is, yeah. is that like if Wilson, it's not even a Wilson thing. It's more that like, there's no unit or no even like position group that's nearly as good as say you know, the defensive line for the Jets or the secondary for the Jets. And so I just think, like, I'm going to trust that that shows up. And this Denver defense is still just garbage. I mean, nevertheless, that, you know, they're relying on, I think uh, Courtland Sutland is going to get a fine because he's using still using one of those Achilles carts to get down the field. Like, he's not hurt. He just needs it. He's faster that way. It's like a, a, what do you call that? A razor scooter. Dave knows what I'm talking about. So, like, are you you sure you're talking about Sutton or Jerry Judy? (laughs) Well, Jerry Judy um, actually wears rollerblades. That's why he's so slow because he's matting the grass. And Denver has a really, because of the elevation, it's mushy grass. That's just yeah. throw out there. So yeah, Denver. I've Denver's heard that. Good. I've heard that elevation's really, really bad for mushy grass. It that's, is. It that's is. a big. That, that's. Yeah. I mean, that's why uh, Peyton looks so much shorter because he sinks because he's got the Kevin right. thing going. So it's like yeah. Right. Right. It's yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm also on the Jets, and also for a similar reason, the best unit here is the Jets defense, even mm-hmm. though maybe it was a little oversold to start the year. Sure. And there's been more pressure on them because the offense has been so terrible. Yeah, but field position they're still and, really good. Right. They're still good. They're still really good, and they're the unit that stands out. And the other three are going to be pretty hit or Bad. miss. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I, I'll tell you, I like the over. I, I like the over. All these Denver games have been weird, like with scoring. So yeah. Over, 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 over. That's a big one. I, I feel like that's okay, that's good. probably my best bet. I'm not going to make it my best bet, but sure. that's my favorite bet here. That you saw this is week. the over. Right, yeah. Um, is over 43, but yeah, I, I can see a world where, uh, Denver scores because I think, you know, the jets are not perfect on defense, no, but, not. um, boy, I, I haven't seen anybody not score on Denver. Right. Um, the way they don't score is Zach Wilson isn't, you know, reverts again. If, if Zach Wilson hadn't played as he played against Kansas city, what would this line be? Oof. It would be six. Three, it, yeah. It, well, I was going to say it's going to be Vegas only <laughs> like that weird five, like that line. Yeah. 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 It'd be really, yeah, it'd be, like, it'd be tough. I would still, I would still probably take the Jets even in that situation with with sloppy Wilson. Right. So yeah, it's a sloppy point. It's sloppy like, Wilson. Wait, it's Wilson Wilson. I didn't realize this. So. <laughs> um, my and plus Garrett Wilson. My my saying that it would be six is a little tongue in cheek, but sure, yeah. kind of not because sometimes these lines just get it, national TV game. He poops himself again. Sure, and like. Here we are. Bias. You know, Not even recency bias, but like, yeah, like, like he's just been terrible exposure. whole year, right? Right, yeah. And now he, and now he's like quasi competent, and we don't know what to get. Maybe he'll be good again, and he might not be, but like that's why it's two. Sure. And yet I'm still, I'm still like a, I would have been the Jets in all, in all cases here. All right, those aforementioned Chiefs, they're going to Minnesota. Um, this was this this could have been the Super Bowl last year, I guess. You know, yeah, yeah. probably not. I mean, Minnesota lost their first game, but like right. theoretically, they were they were a high enough seed that they could have gotten there. Um, this just in, I don't think they're going this year, despite our summer talks about them. They do finally hold serve against Carolina on the road last week, but the Vikings did. But boy, they didn't look good. And no, Kirk Cousins did throw a hundred yard interception early in that game. The uh, Chiefs are a four and a half point favorite in Minnesota. Yeah, I just wish somebody said something rude about him in the way that they that like was it that uh. The, the, but the Devon Witherspoon said about uh, 
about Daniel Jones. That was awesome. They were like, "What was the gameplay?" He's like, "I just stared. He just stared at me. It was awesome. Like, I just, want, <laughs> I just want to hear somebody break down like the cousins thing. I think he pointed. And it was the same exact play. It was the same exact hopeless play. I think cousins might cousins's might have been worse because. What are you looking at that you think that anybody's open there? Think, There's three yeah. defenders and two receivers standing within three yards of each other. My what are guess you doing? is the corner was the only other guy in the field who uses an Android. So he just had that connection, you know, with, with Cousins. <laughs> right. So um, I had this at minus six, Kansas City. It just felt that way. Uh, also, I just feel the public's going to be there with it, too. But I'll, I'll take it because these are um, it's a mistake-prone team. Yeah, they're running backs, running glue, even though, like, you know, the expected points and everything look good because they – they concentrate a lot of action to Madison. He gets a lot of targets and, and carries really most weeks. Look, Jefferson is the best player in this game other than the best player on the Chiefs. Okay, so like the Chiefs have – like that's something may not even true. Chris Jones is really good too. So I don't know what I'm talking about otherwise, but I think the Chiefs – and obviously Andy Reid against Kirk Cousins, they're not – that makes no sense. They're not playing each other. But – I just think like, I just think Andy Reid is just so much smarter getting ready. Or Kevin Ken O'Connell, really. So because remember, I spent a month in their locker room. So, I do remember that in the laundry basket. Yep, I remember. Um, you have a Chiefs colored shirt on today. I do. Um, I just I'm tired of like I'm being the floating head in my basement, and I've been advised by my <laughs> manager to stop looking like I'm in like a Twilight Zone. So. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna note that the sh- that the 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 flavor of the shirt may indicate the pick. Uh, mm. He did pick the Chiefs, as do I. For a lot of the reasons that you said, the game of the week is the Sunday night game. It's the Cowboys. It's the 49ers. It has lots of history from our childhoods, you know, from, from whatever, 30 years ago. Uh, And, and then it's had, it's got a lot of recent history in the playoffs too. Not so good for the Cowboys. No, Uh, The Cowboys are going to San Francisco and the line is Niners three and a half. You ever think like when they're going to like, I I don't know if they are going to retire Zeke's jersey, probably not. But if he comes back and does like one of those, goofy uh, replay the play on the field things like i saw dan marino read like when i was a kid redo the georgia bowl uh, the, the the peach bowl play in for Pitt, and there's a bunch of old guys running around i just want zeke elliott to do the fall down snap as like in front when he's like 50 in front of everybody <laughs> just, just that would, that would it was a good. long way to go people don't know what the, i got it i got the reference but yeah. you meant you're referring to the playoff game last year in which Zeke mysteriously took a direct yeah. snap with no offensive lineman. As a teacher, the, the, we would say that was terrible um, um, prior knowledge. I didn't prime my students. I just was like <laughs> mid-sentence talking about a random play. <laughs> I just, because my mind goes to uh, Dallas Ajita. It's just really fun. But I <laughs> took the, I, honestly, this scared me a little bit, this line. I had this at minus five, though. I still think San Francisco is just better. And I know Dallas has played well, but again, somewhat like the Eagles, they've played some pretty bad teams so far and beat them up. I haven't been so yet impressed yet from a game. From, and I'm impressed by Dallas to an extent, but then they did go into Arizona and have that game. Now, we res- you respect, you're, you're probably reading it better with Arizona. I'm still waiting for the kind of the shoe to drop there. Um, they don't wear shoes there. It's like more like a sandal Teva, Tevas, is that what they are? Um, but yeah, I am going to give the points here. Um, I just feel like they're the much better team, and I hate I hate the Cowboys. So yeah, <laughs> they're not the much better team, but they are better. Think, and I'm yeah, also on I think the offensively 49ers. they are though. I think offensively, like they have so much more to to do. Whereas I think the San Francisco team, if they take if they can isolate Tony Pollard, just take one element away, I just think it becomes like Dak and like the Daffy Duck tattoo. So yeah, ready. Here we go. That's my Dak Prescott. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Listen to the, when you're when you're watching this game, you'll yeah. thank me. You'll yeah. you'll you'll recognize like it. every call. Here we go. I like. Uh, it. I'm on the Niners. Um, I think I think. Would you have it at? Why what? am I on? Why am I on the Niners? I'm on the nine. I, I think the Cowboys are a really good roster they and are. a really good they team. Are. And like I said, good teams can keep their eye off the ball in a matchup they're supposed to win sure. and lose to the Cardinals. Like yeah. it can happen. That's a tough game. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So like I'll, I'll, I'll acknowledge that, you know, last year, this matchup on the same field, we did a YouTube show picking the playoff games and I took the Cowboys right. and uh, felt pretty smart about it for most of that it, game. Yeah. Other than D- Dak staring somebody the down and giving up very a very end. Well, yeah. one pick six at the very, you know, like that's right. the game right there. And so like, my tendencies, but I just you're feel right. Like that I've was a close game. Lesson. But isn't like I yeah. just think that, I think this team, this team has improved in some ways, Dallas. But I just feel like they're more prone to revert to who they've been. Whereas I do think there's a momentum yeah. with Purdy thing, I, and I think 
I think having this much well, McCaffrey at all, it does. They're just dangerous, like they are. Yeah, so. they are, but they were last year, and the Cowboys. I know, but like, I guess I feel like last year was such a partial experience. Like this is like meaning their their quarterback was new that they they brought in fair. running back late. I just think they they're growing into something, whereas this team is just like let's not be what I mean, we used to be. We're arguing over a pick that we both made the same way, so I don't know why we're arguing. But I, like, I'll just say, again. do it's... the voice again. Do the voice again. The back voice. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> um, it, you know, there's a logic that says uh, just, just you know, it's a field goal game. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's three and a half point spread, take the points. But I'm not, I'm not doing it very I'm seriously. It. I'm sure. Like this isn't Arizona. Like, like Dallas is ready. Meaning this is not a miss. Sure. Game. But what does that mean? And I, yeah, yeah. I think mostly most NFL games, everybody's focused. But you're right. They certainly will be focused here. It's not going to be a. It's not going to be like they're not going to lose because they were looking past them. That's sure. For sure. All right. And then Monday night. Uh, as of our recording this, we don't know the Jimmy Garoppolo story sure. other than it's a story of a very handsome, very stupid man. Ooh. Uh, he's, Ooh. he's hosting the Packers as of our recording this, the line is on the road. Green Bay's giving one point. Can't lie. You know who taught me how to make a cat, a cat sound? Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> so, okay. Beep, beep, yeah. Boop, 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 and that's actually all he says in the phone. He's like Beaker. When you talk to him, it's so <laughs> difficult. And you just say, <laughs> and it's, it's like, I, it's like, we have to Skype and he thinks that I'm saying, get a kite. And then he just runs out the house. But oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a kiter. He likes to, and then we have to tell him no paraglide, no paragliding, Jimmy. Um, if it, it just, he, he doesn't know how to operate one, even if he, you know, he watches a lot of YouTube. Here's the thing. I am giving these points. I had it at minus two and a half. I did. I think Green Bay was terrible last week in many ways, but I think the long it's, it's somewhat of a buy. But also, I'm baking in the idea that I don't know who's going to be a quarterback, and I think the Raiders are just. I, I actually think McDaniel's is a pretty good offensive. You know, he's he can build out offensive games. I don't know if they have the guys to do that, and their defense is just really other than Max Crosby, who like tries to start a fight on every play. They're pretty bad on defense. They really are. So I'm going to just go ahead is, and think Love's bounces back. Is Green Bay also bad on defense? Did they we all, get fooled? All, yeah, because by... it's, it's having 14 first round picks. Like, I don't know how that works, but all the defensive yeah. players are first round picks. Now, they're all, most of the middle inside linebackers. I wouldn't advise that. But yeah. I, I, I like think week better. one, we were like, what, what a what an effort against the Bears. And right. then it turned out that the Bears are just yeah. a disaster. And Wild so maybe the Green Bay. Yeah. Maybe both of these defenses are terrible. I'm also on Green Bay. Okay. How many picks did we differ on? Was it two? Um, yeah, but we Dave, argued on Dave, a lot of them, so it's cool. <laughs> we did. Dave, do you have the t- – t- while I'm talking, Dave will tell me the tally of how many we disagreed on because I wasn't keeping track, but it, 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 Dave just said two. Mm. Well, my oh, – sorry, no, it's three. Mm. It's three. Dave just mm. said it's three. But we, we are both on Green Bay here. Um, that means one of us I'll is going to exactly have a perfect what? record because – one of us is going to lose three games, and one of us is going to win them all. Like so. No, no, that's not what's going to happen, Dave, Jim. Is that uh, math? That's that not math? what's going to happen. You're going to win them all, man. I'm not saying who's going to do it. No, no, neither one of those things are going to happen. Um, Here we but, go. But let me describe. <laughs> Here we go. Let, let me describe uh, why I'm on Green Bay here. Let me tell you why. I mean, how many times on this show have I come on and defended Josh McDaniels? Double digits. Yeah. It's double over the past two years. Yeah. Double digits. Yeah. And. I think the Jacoby Myers Myers signings is genius. Yeah, I yeah. think Myers, Adams, and Garoppolo work great together when Garoppolo right. isn't, you know, completely out to lunch. Sure. Uh, like Jacobs had a great I, year, I, right? Yeah. So I'm I'm like on record a million times as saying I trust Josh McDaniels, and that is gone. And I'm going to tell you why. I said this in the podcast when I sure. did the film review too. All summer, all we heard from the moles, from the leaks, from the mouthpieces, you won't believe this Aiden O'Connell guy. You, yeah. j- they love him so much. They can't yeah, believe yeah. they got McDaniels can't believe he got him where he got him. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm I, I don't know anything about Purdue football. No. And I'm like, okay, it sounds real Irish. I just, but great. I just cool. remember Drew Brees. That's it. Like that's my I've stopped after that. And then I saw last week's game. And I'm not trying to tell you that the kid it's his first NFL start. I'm not telling you the kid doesn't have a career. I'm not telling you anything. But all they said was how ready he was and how what a pro was was. And so it's not about I'm really disgusted with how Aiden O'Connell looked. I'm disgusted that Josh McDaniels looked at Aiden O'Connell and said, "He's ready." I, I think like, the problem, yeah, he was also in the in the, the branches of Inishmir, which is weird. So it's like that's not cool. Cut his hand yeah. off. Did you get the Did you get the name of that movie right? The 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 branches of Inishmir. In a shrine, in a schmear, in a schmear. My my cousins live in, on the Aran Islands. Like, come on, come on. It's isn't it in a Sheeran? In a Sheeran. Okay, yeah, that, that's Ed Sheeran. It's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> they live. They live in Ed Sheeran. No, it's, it's not Ed Sheeran either. He, no. just, um. Anyway, in limericks. He only speaks in limericks, which is it's hard to call plays when you're rhyming. So. 
that, uh, yeah, but the good thing is that the quarterback doesn't call plays, so he's okay. Um, sure. He says the words, though, I, doesn't he? So. <laughs> there once was a play from my bucket. Um, so so uh, I, will, I will take Green Bay because I have lost some faith in Josh McDaniels, and uh, I think the Packers may stink a little bit, mm-hmm. but um, I think they're a little bit more of a professional operation, and I might regret it. I don't feel super strongly about that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the point in the show where Jim and I both pick our most confident Mm-hmm. And uh, and then I gave you a wrong one because apparently two, yeah. two of the four two of the four so far this year I've not only get, picked a non coverer I've picked a loser, um, but we're gonna try again and we of course ask all of you to tell us down in the comments who your most confident point spread is Jim who is your most confident uh, none of these games jumped out the way they did last week for Seattle like the second I saw that Seattle line I was like yeah that one like you know a very very winnable short like short spread like a small spread rather that was very coverable even if Seattle didn't play well. For this one, it's the Eagles. It's not even a, a homer pick. It's just that I think this is probably the biggest gap in like overall roster talent of the week um, in, in terms of a spread that's manageable. You know, like the Kansas City line is there, but that's a big spread. This is a game that's manageable within one, you know, within one <laughs> touchdown. So, yeah. Jim, I'm pretty sure the Kansas City spread is four and a half and the Eagles spread is four. I thought the Kansas City spread was, uh, <laughs> yeah. I meant I meant the Miami line. I'm sorry. I meant Miami. Oh, I, I oh meant, sorry. I'm sorry. I meant Miami. I meant Miami. I, my head was like I, I really meant the gap in the Miami game is so obvious between the Giants and yeah, Dolphins. You're wearing the Chiefs. You're wearing the Chiefs colors. That's it's, what it is. It bleeds into your head. Yeah. And like yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm also trying to gain some weight. It'll be Andy Reid at a, at, for Halloween. So it's kind of <laughs> disgusting what's going on here. It's like a Michael Phelps diet without the swimming. So you know, yeah. A lot of bull testicles. Um, it is. I yeah. I I'm. I'm tempted to say uh, Patriot, Patriots lose and don't cover, but I'm just going to stay away. Mm. Uh, I'm going to say I, I, I hinted it. I think it's Buffalo. Okay, yeah. Um, I, f- I feel like, again, this is kind of the time of year where I'm deciding to trust my eyes, um, and and my eyes are sometimes wrong. And you know, they like look, I, they I get it. It's great a, last week. Yeah. So completely inexact science, but they've since week one, the offense has just looked like who's stopping that offense? You know, right, I don't yeah, know yeah. that that team really exists, and I, I. I really don't think it's the Jags. Sure. Um, and the, and then you know we the other way around. I don't think Buffalo's defense. Neither do you think Buffalo's defense is is one of these that is going to carry a team to a championship. It's going to be the offense. But they're good enough to take advantage of the mistakes right. that Jacksonville yeah, apparently is committed Oliver to making. Well, last week, yeah, those two, the young, right. some of the guys that we said aren't impressing us. Maybe I have to reassess it because like Oliver is kind of leaping. So we'll see. Right. All right. So uh, so I'll I'll say the Bills. Uh, but what do you think? Tell us down in the comments. Uh, tell us, tell us what a cat sounds like a kitten. Um, that would be helpful. Uh, tell us what, tell us what shoes they wear in Phoenix and also, uh, whether you like Dak, Dak Prescott's play calls, uh, Mm. at the line of scrimmage. Um, and also your most, your, the game that you're most confident about. We'd love to hear about that. Uh, I, I, in my ear, I'm being told that Dave is very confident the Browns will win this week, which is really hard to believe. saying it in Dak Prescott's voice, which is really funny. They're not playing this week. Um, but we appreciate DraftKings sponsoring again. If you, if you are, uh, uh, interested in playing any of these games and you don't have DraftKings account, uh, it would be great if you sign up, use the code Harris tube. Um, even if you're not planning on playing a lot, like we don't want you to bet very much. No. Please don't bet a ton. Yeah, Just I don't. Little, it's fun to have like five, five dollars, ten dollars. No, yeah, please don't I, bet I any don't, more than that. I leave it right around there. But I told you this weekend, I was like, dude, I made so much money on Puka. I meant like forty-five dollars, and that was a series of like yeah. three different parlays. So it's like it's not like yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not yeah. going crazy here. I'm buying Sega Genesis games. Okay, kids. Yeah. So. Correct. So we're we're please please do uh, uh, use moderation here and uh, don't mm-hmm. go crazy. But it's fun, you know. You you're not a cowboy fan. You're not a 49 er fan. You just yeah. want to have somebody to root exactly. for. Exactly. Uh, you make a five dollar bet. Believe me, you'll root. Like you can't help it. You're just like I want to be right. That, that's some uh, Dallas unders. That's some Dallas unders. Yeah. yeah. Dallas Unders. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for this uh, bonus episode of the little podcast that could also known as Harris after dark. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you for watching and be your great support and your kind comments. And uh, please leave us a note down below and uh, like, and subscribe and all that stuff for producer Dave, who is going through withdrawal with no Browns game this week mm. for Jim McCormick, who is not flying out to Los Angeles to stay on my couch mm-hmm. to watch this game. My name is Chris. Thank you for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Please, please, please smash that like button, write a comment, tell us who else you'd like to see us review film on, and of course, best of all, please subscribe to our channel and then click that little bell above the subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever we post a new video.